ओम ज्ञान तिरांधस्ञानाजन शलाकय चक्षुरोन्मीलिताेन तस्म श्रीगुरव नम नमा ओं विष्णुपदा कृष्ण पृष्ठा भूतले श्रीमते भक्ति वेदस्वामी नमस्ते नमस्ते सारस्वते देवे गौरवाणी पचारिणे निर्विशेष शून्यवादी पाश्चात्यदेशिणे जय श्री कृष्ण चैतन्य प्रभो निनंद श्रीअद्वैत गाधर श्रीवासादिगौरभक्तवृंद हरे कृष्णा हरे कृष्णा 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 हरे 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 राम हरे राम 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 हरे हरे सो लेट्स ट्राई टू अंडरस्टैंड एंड लेट्स ट्राई टू रिलिश लिटिल पास टाइम अबाउट द मैरेज ऑफ वसुदेव एंड देव की so here is the first verse so let's discuss from this verse onwards tasyam tu karhi chachaure tasyam tu karhi chachaure vasudevah kritod kritodvah devakya suryaya sardham devakya suryaya sardham prayene ratham aruha So here, Shukadev Goswami, he is that fortunate soul who is witnessing the entire Krishna Leela with his eyes, and he is narrating. So he is seeing the marriage of Devaki and Vasudev happening. So it is described that Devaki and Kamsa, they both were <coughs> brothers and sisters. Yes, but they were cousins. So Devaki. she was begotten by devak maharaj and kamsa was the son of ugrasen so devak and ugrasen they were brothers so they were the sons of another great maharaj or king called ahuk ahuk so his sons were devak and ugrasen and that's how we we call kamsa as the brother of devaki they are cousins now it so happened that uh, devaki she is married to vasudev and it is described in hari vamsha purana that for 15 days the entire bridegroom's party was there in devaki's place now just imagine the rituals how long the rituals would be and how great the entire festivities would be 15 days i had heard 5 days 5 days marriage in vedic times 15 days ceremony one of our devotee who is getting married so he was asking his uh, boss that i want two months uh, vacation yes i am going to get married he said two months i just took one day leave i got married and i came back <laughs> why he wants two months <laughs> uh, anyways vivaha samskara is a very important samskara but now the importance of that is not known to people they just want to finish off somehow and get back to their normal monotonous life but here we see devak maharaj he had arranged entire ceremony in a very very grand way 15 days he hosted the bridegroom's uh, party and was very very nicely taken care now it's very nice to note that when the female when she gets married she has now a very strong relationship on the in-law side now two relationships father side and in law side so as soon as she gets married she leaves the home and she goes you not know, to her in law's place and that occasion that is there in hindi we call bidai in english i don't know what they call it as <laughs> so when the girl leaves so that occasion is a very very auspicious occasion very auspicious occasion and in this auspicious occasion all the family members on the girl side they bless her and they give send off now here in this shloka it is said devakya suryaya sardham prayane ratham aruhat so vasudevah krita udvah so after being married what happened vasudev and devaki they both aruhat ratham they got on to the rath now what happened after that उग्रसेना सुता कंस 
स्वसु प्रिय चिकीर्षया रश्मीन हयाना जग्रह रौक्मथ शतर्वत Now, since Kamsa is the brother of Devaki, suddenly he felt a lot of love and affection for Devaki. Oh, my sister is leaving, so I should do something for her. So Devaki, with the help of Vasudev or her maid servants, Dasis, she got onto the chariot. Already a chariot driver was there, but Kamsa, he was feeling uh, so much affection for Devaki, so much of love for Devaki. so he he felt i should do some nice service to her and what was the service that he decided to do he being a great king he is son of ugra singh so he is a king or you can call it as prince so he taking the position of a chariot driver is a very very big thing but he decided that okay i will drive the chariot just to please my sister devaki therefore here it is said priya chikir shaya just to please her Now it is described that the entire rath was made up of gold. Raukma is the word that is used. Raukma. The entire thing was made up of gold, and this rath was surrounded by many other rathas. It is described ratha shatai hi, ratha hai, surrounded by hundreds of rath. Now you can imagine the entire scene. It will be so beautiful. So here, bride and bridegroom are there in a golden rath and surrounded by many many other raths. Now also people try to imitate, no? Trying to have a rat. It's a truck having uh, some. They make it silver, and then they have some artificial horses in front. They try to imitate, but then this cannot be imitated for sure. So he comes, sir. He took the ropes in the hand. Rashmin, Hayanam, Jagrah. He took the ropes in the hand, and the entire plan was: I will drive the chariot from. the house or the palace of devak maharaj to the palace of vasudev now the next words that shukadev goswami is describing he is trying to describe all that gifts that devak maharaj gave it to devaki like ekdam detail mein jaake dahej kitna diya he is talking about that hmm? very nice chatuh shatam paribaram गजाना हेम मलिना अश्वायुत साधम रथाषत देवक महाराज बींग वेरी अफेक्शनेट फॉर देवकी हिज डॉटर वॉट ही गेव हियर इट इज डिस्क्राइब चतुशत फोर हंड्रेड एंड डाउरी in sanskrit is called as paribharam so basically gifts so chatushatam what did he give chatushatam here it is described and propad writes chatushatam elephants 400 elephants now these 400 elephants aisa nahi aise jungle se utha ke la ke de diya 400 elephants and see the next word that is used hema malinam so they were put very nice golden ornaments अभी ऐसा एक लाइन नहीं यू कैन जस्ट इमेजिन ह्यूज गोल्डन ऑर्नामेंट्स एंड नाउ व्हेन इट इज गोल्डन ऑर्नामेंट्स एंड ऑब्वियसली इट विल बी कवर्ड विद सिल्क क्लॉथ एंड ऑल दैट दैट्स अंडरस्टूड जस्ट टेलिंग द इंपॉर्टेंट थिंग हेम मागिन गजानाम हेम मागिन ओके अलोंग विद दैट व्हाट वाज देयर अश्वानाम अयुतम सार्धम अश्व अश्व मींस हॉर्स एंड हियर हाउ मेनी हॉर्सेस ही गेव अयुतम 10000 Ten thousand horses, so four hundred elephants, ten thousand horses. So these horses were also decorated with gold. It's understood they were also decorated. If elephants are decorated, why will horses not be decorated? And then ratha naam chhe three shat shatam. Now this is also very nice. Three times six hundred. That is eighteen hundred chariots. 1800 now just imagine the entire scene so we have devaki vasudev in one chariot we have 1800 chariots and then we have how many elephants 400 elephants how many horses 10000 horses 
इसको कहते हैं बारात <laughs> अगर शादी करो तो ऐसे करो नहीं तो मत करो नाउ द नेक्स्ट नाउ इज ऑल अबाउट एनिमल्स एंड रथ एंड ऑल दैट नाउ इट टॉक्स अबाउट ह्यूमन बींग्स दासी नाम सुकुमारी द्वेषते समलंकृते दुहित्रे देवघ प्रादा याने दुहित्र वत्सल सो नाउ वेरी नाइस डिस्क्रिप्शन इज गिवन अबाउट होम अबाउट दासी अबाउट द मेड सर्वेंट्स सो प्रीवियसली दिस वॉज देयर दैट वन द गर्ल इज गोइंग टू इन लॉज प्लेस सो मेनी सर्वेंट्स वुड बी सेंड मेनी दासीज वुड बी सेंड शील फील अलोन सो हुए वॉज देयर इन द पैलेस विथ हर so those dasis would be sent how many dasis were sent here it is said dvishate dasina dvishate 200 maid servants were sent so chair this is called opulence now again the if the question is asked that uh, were they also decorated with gold <laughs> <laughs> so it's but obvious samalankrite they were decorated very nicely fully decorated with ornaments hmm. samyak rupena alankrita that's what samya samalankrite hmm. so they were completely decorated with ornaments from top to bottom now this question comes uh, okay so only uh, females were there or males were also there now, there is other acharyas who comment they say that no no males were also there so it is understood females will serve devaki and males would be serving vasudev and the rath was completely filled with whatever a grahastha life needs i don't know if fridge tv washing machine was there but surely various other things were there that is needed now see vasudev is also a great king even if devak maharaj does not send all this is okay but he is so overwhelmed with love and devotion that's love and affection for devaki that he is just giving all that that is possible so now the entire procession began So all of them just started. Now, when the entire procession began, there were amazing uh, things that took place there. Shankaturya Mridangascha, Nidur Dundhubaya Samam, Prayana Prakramita Ta, Varavadu Sumangalam. Now here, Shukadev Goswami is calling Parikshit Maharaj Tata. Tata means, oh beloved son, oh my dear son. Now, abhi tak to kuch bola nahi. Shadi ke time. Abhi iski time pe kyu bola? Why? What is the need? That why Shukadev Goswami is saying Tata, oh son. I'll tell it sometime. Before that, when the rath started, the entire procession, one rath in between, eighteen hundred raths, four hundred elephants. 10000 horses and then 200 servants when the entire procession started now this description the number is not given that how many people were actually playing all these instruments here it is a shankaturya mridanga so all these different uh, instruments they were played and here the word samam is used samam means in sync <laughs> sometimes all the, our kirtans go out of sync They sum up in sync. So all the instruments were played in sync, and who were playing these instruments? It is described by the acharyas that Devi Devtas came as human beings, and they were playing the instruments. In this world itself, the expert uh, players of various instruments, when they play, it is so nice to hear. Just imagine when Devi Devtas come and play. So that was the entire thing that was taking place there. wonderful instruments played and everywhere was sumangalam everywhere auspiciousness was created see this is a very nice thing to note that whenever some samskara is happening that is vivaha samskar whenever some uh, rituals are taking place so at that time sumangala or auspicious things are uh, basically taken uh, auspicious things are uh, what should i say played Hmm. or they try to create ha this more precise auspiciousness is created people try to create auspiciousness in that place now here it's very important to note 
that these instruments shankh when shankh is blown naturally auspiciousness gets created and other instruments turya mridanga etc so by all that the auspiciousness gets created now it's very nice to note previously people had this understanding they had this knowledge that okay now this very very important uh, procession is going very important samskara is taking place so yes we should create auspiciousness and therefore they would blow shankha turya mridanga all of that will create auspiciousness now when uh, currently when people get married and when there is a procession they have dj you uh, know some lecha some meat eater some drunkard is singing and that is played now just imagine already the life is not auspicious <laughs> and all this is played think about the negativity that is given as a gift when people are when the procession begins therefore when people don't have vedic knowledge they just know that there should be some sound but they don't know what type of sound there is auspicious sound there is an auspicious sound when this masala music and all is played what do you think auspiciousness is created in fact the person will get more sin to hear all that and get lusty desires and uh, you know other nonsensical desires and also all glories to those people who dance in front of the procession <laughs> in the on that masala songs you see how much inauspiciousness is there when people drink and dance and all that how much inauspiciousness is there very unfortunate but look at this sumangalam it, it was all auspicious everywhere now why did shukadev goswami especially address parikshit maharaj is parikshit maharaj it's not the first time parikshit maharaj is hearing all these past times huh? he is he's a devotee he has heard it multiple times so he knows what next is going to happen so shukadev goswami is telling him oh tata oh dear son don't worry you are thinking about that what is what is going to happen next don't worry there will be no inauspiciousness because so mangalam it was all auspicious there cannot be any in auspiciousness now what happened next i can speak more on this verse also but we'll continue now what happened next the entire procession is going so nice everything is so wonderful but when the everything was wonderful and everything was going well in this material world naturally there will be some people who will be in tension or who will feel insecure and here also we had some category of people who were insecure this comes is the chariot driver and devaki and vasudev are sitting behind and the entire thing is so nice maybe comes is looking behind devaki and vasudev devaki is smiling comes is smiling devaki is very happy with comes vasudev is very happy with comes but devi devtas were in tension they were thinking are what is this comes are doing he is a rogue and he is serving devaki and vasudev who are going to become the parents of krishna and who will become parents of krishna devotees of krishna only become because associates of krishna they are not uh, some tom dick and harry picked up from this world they are very very qualified pure devotees of the lord now when this pure devotees are there sitting on the rath and this rogue is serving the pure devotees and now when krishna appears and when krishna knows that okay devaki and vasudev they were served by kamsa chalo forgiven no 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 this cannot happen this cannot happen so all the devtas they decided this service we should stop we should block this service somehow and that's how they did something pati pragrahinam kamsam आभास्या गर्भो हंता just imagine you're going and suddenly is akash when you foolish rascal you foolish rascal come sir now immediately the entire procession stopped firstly comes a stopped is rath 
naturally all the other things that were there around the earth and horses and everything stopped you can imagine statue mode and only there is akashvani that is there abuda you foolish rascal asya stvam ashtamo garbo hanta the girl whom you are carrying in your chariot her ashtama that is eighth garbha child is going to hanta kill you now the devatas are also very clever they didn't say eighth son they said eighth child ashtamo garbho yes so eighth child or eighth pregnancy garbha now this question comes that uh, why he is called as foolish rascal why is he called as ignorant abuda basically means foolish or ignorant why because he was not knowing that the personalities whom he is carrying their kid is going to kill therefore he is called as abuda and now as soon as all this happened what do you think when the entire akashvani happened what will come sir look at devak and smile <laughs> immediately comes a left the ropes which were tied to the horses already chariot is stopped and he looked at devaki in a very angry mood and after that what happened shukdev goswami is describing ityukta sakala papo ityukta sakala papo bhojanam kula pamsana bhojanam kula pamsana bhagini mantum arabdha bhagini mantum arabdha khadga pani kache grahe ियर <laughs> because when this katha is narrated it's not that speaker is just speaking and the hearer is just hearing and they are waiting when will it be 9:30 <laughs> <Yes. laughs> there is a different mood altogether parikshit maharaj is hearing with absorption shukdev goswami is hearing with absorption parikshit maharaj he is so absorbed that he feels tension what next is going to happen and shukdev goswami is so into the past time that he is I mean, now these two words were not needed. Khalaha, papa, bhoja naam, kula pamsa na ha. There was no need, but still he is saying, papi vyakti, sinful. Khalaha, envious. Bhoja naam, kula pamsa na ha. The destroyer of the reputation of bhoja dynasty. This useless fun. And then he says, what did he do? Well, a gali diya. Then he is telling the activities. Bhagini mantum arabda khadga pani ka chek rahit. So immediately he removed a sword. and with his left hand he held the hair of devaki and he was about to chop the head of devaki now our acharyas they are going crazy on this how is he doing this how dare he do this and then they are also giving gali so very nicely it is said our acharya is saying he cannot be a kshatriya kshatriya are not like this coward he is just uh, acting as kshatriya but he is not kshatriya and vallabhacharya he is telling he should have waited for eighth son if he so if he was a proper kshatriya he would have waited for eighth son see even indra for that matter when he kidnapped uh, kayadu so kayadu was pregnant so indra was just uh, thinking that okay maybe the child will also be like hiranyakashipu so better we kill the child now no after the child takes birth this is the mood of kshatriyas this is the mood you know, of those personalities who are in the administrative class they will not do this so vallabhacharya is saying that what is this he cannot be called a kshatriya he should have waited for the eighth son to take birth just take birth no 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 if he is a proper kshatriya he should have waited for the eighth son to grow and then he should have challenged the son and then he should have fought and then he should defeat and killed him this is proper act of a kshatriya he is not a kshatriya and therefore this uh, various words are used you know here that he was 
जस्ट एनवियस पापी सिंफुल पर्सन नाउ इट्स सच अ डिफिकल्ट सिचुएशन जस्ट थिंक अबाउट वसुदेव बेचारे ने कुछ नहीं किया है <laughs> उसकी शादी हुई जस्ट नाउ इज गॉट मैरिड देवकी ऑल्सो so both of them they are unaware of anything they are very happy it's a very happy occasion and they are traveling and suddenly this particular thing takes place and now vasudev is in a fix what to do because devaki is going to be killed any time at least in this world also when the newly wedded wife if someone is attacking maybe the husband will like do something to protect her after few years i don't know but at least newly newly wedded <laughs> so here you can just imagine vasudev being a very very righteous king a very very dharmic person a person who is going to become the father of supreme personality of godhead he is thinking what has to be done is the entire if you understand the gravity of the entire situation then we'll be able to make out that what vasudev did was extraordinary extraordinary we cannot think of doing all this but vasudev being such a very very great personality he was able to do this wonderful thing and what did he do that is given here tam jugupsita kar karmanam nisham sam nirapatrapam vasudevo mahabhaga uvacha parishantav shantavyan uvacha parishantavyan what vasudev wanted to do jugupsitam karmanam now there is a offensive act that is taking place and again shukadev goswami is again using words which was actually not needed he could have just narrated the past and what happened next but then he says nirshamsam very cruel why was he very cruel because he was killing whom his own sister nirshamsam very cruel because any person who is cruel he might not kill his family members but here he was killing his own sister and that to when day of marriage nirsham sam and another word that is used is nirapatrapam so this word is used nirapatrapam so nirapatrapam here it says that to in the same assembly where he loved his sister so our acharya is recommending come sir see if you want to kill your sister take her to some private place and kill her no in the same assembly where you have showed your love to your sister how can you do this therefore shukdev was swami saying nirapatrapam waste fellow how can you do this particular thing in this way we understand that vasudev who is mahabhag who is very very greatly fortunate why is called as mahabhag because his wife is going to be killed he is going to become the father of the lord in fact it is described in vasudev they took birth in this world when he appeared all the devi devtas they all played various instruments they all played various instruments and they showered flowers on the baby because they all knew that he is going to become the father of krishna therefore all these devi devtas they respect a person respect that devotee or that person who is in connection with krishna they always they uh, look forward to respect and honor a person who is in connection with krishna and here we understand very clearly that how this great personality is called as mahabhaga and they had played various different instruments if another name of vasudev is anaka dundubhi because uh, all these different instruments were played and therefore his name became anaka dundubi now vasudev understanding the position of devaki and his own responsibility as pati pati comes from the word pati pati iti pati so the one who protects he is pati so therefore a female as prabhupada writes in various places a female she is in protection of the father in the young age then husband then finally in the old age son elder son so she is always under protection so here pati is the one who is protecting so now this word is very very important 
बिकॉज वॉट वसुदेव इज गोइंग टू डू इज अ क्वेश्चन हाउ इज गोइंग टू प्रोटेक्ट बिकॉज इज जस्ट सम मोमेंट्स एंड देवक इज गोइंग टू बी बी हेडेड ऐसे नहीं था कि ऐसे किया एंड देन कोई आके स्टैचू बोला देन इज वेटिंग एंड देन वसुदेव इज गोइंग टू स्पीक ओम नमो भगवते वासुदेव आई आर नथिंग डूइंग एनी मोमेंट दिस कैन हैपन देवक इज हेड विल बी चॉप्ड ऑफ बट वसुदेव ही स्पोक समथिंग बाय विच द स्टैचू सिचुएशन केम इन टू पिक्चर Kamsa is holding the hair. The other hand, he is holding Khadga, that is sword, but he is not doing anything. He is hearing. What did Vasudev say? So before this uh, understanding, what Vasudev said, we should understand the Shatriyas. What niti they use? There are four nitis, you know, which they use: Sam, Dham, Danda, and Bhed. Now, Dham means to give some gifts. or give some wealth and purchase the person if there is some conflict you give some wealth and purchase the person hmm. now vasudev cannot do this how can he purchase kamsa he cannot do that danda danda means punish the person now how we vasudev cannot punish kamsa so he has to use other two nitis which he'll be using sama and bhed hmm. now sama is also five types which is going to use first one is sambandha relationship sambandha second is labha profit basically he is going to glow, basically is going to say what all things kamsa will get if he leaves devaki so what all things he'll get firstly he is making him understand his sambandha who is devaki for you second labha profit what profit you will get third upkar that is favor asking for favor abhed trying to establish the point that there is no difference between you and me we make make the person feel that you and me are same how can you do anything to me let's patch up and finally guna kirtan so glorifying the person very nicely now this is what vasudev is going to do so let's hear all these five types of sama that vasudev is going to do श्री वसुदेव उच श्लाघनीय गुणशुरोज यशस्क स कथम भगिनी भ्या स्त्रीय उद्वाह पर्वणी नाउ द फर्स्ट थिंग दट इज एस इज श्लाघनीय गुण शुर भवान हु आर यू यू आर दैट पर्सनालिटी हु इज भोज यशक यशस्क द ब्रिलियंट स्टार ऑफ भोजा डायनेस्टी हरी बोल नाउ इज जस्ट पिक्ड अप द स्वर्ड इज अबाउट टू चॉम एंड इज ओ यू आर द ब्रिलियंट सन ऑफ भोजा डायनेस्टी एंड यू हैव बीन ग्लोरीफाइड बाय होम You have been glorified by all those personalities who are veeras. That's what uh, is mentioned. Shuraihi by the great heroes, they all glorify you. So the first thing that he is doing is guna kirtan, glorify to pacify. This is what he is doing. You are such a great personality. How can you kill your sister? So that's implicit. and our acharyas say that okay he is glorified by shurahi the great heroes but he is not glorified by yogis and bhaktas so only these personalities these kings will glorify who are under him but others will not glorify him and now next thing that he is telling this is labha advantage of profit what is that he is saying that you are the star of bhoja dynasty if you don't kill her what will happen your glories as a star of bhoja dynasty will spread everywhere again implicit and now hearing these two lines kamsa didn't move his sword he just stood to hear therefore when he glorify someone automatically kaan khade ho jate when someone glorifies us yes suna rahe hain hum log ne kahi to fir kya bola what did he say please repeat my ears are longing to hear it again So as soon as he heard the glorification, he stopped. And then, the next thing that he says is, 
स कथम भगिनी हंत्या नाउ ही इज टॉकिंग अबाउट संबंध रिलेशनशिप फर्स्टली इज सेंग हाउ कैन यू किल अ फीमेल यू फीमेल हाउ कैन यू किल अ फीमेल एंड दैट टू भगिनी यूर ओन सिस्टर हाउ कैन यू किल योर ओन सिस्टर अनादर वेरी नाइस थिंग दैट इज मैं उद्व पर्वणी so your own sister who is youngest because devak maharaj had lot of uh, daughters and she was the youngest devaki was the youngest she was very beautiful amazing in all the qualities and therefore here the question is asked how can you kill a female and that to in female she is not just a female she is your bhagini she is your sister and that to on the day of marriage how can you do this so this is the question that is asked now in this way when this was uh, told by vasudev now kansa is not killing devaki but say kansa is saying that you didn't hear akashvani what did the akashvani say akashvani said that the eighth garbha of this lady is going to kill me therefore i want to kill her now this is the mood of a asur because when it comes to demons their main goal is i want to enjoy as soon as there is some obstacle in the enjoyment they cannot tolerate they are ready to remove anyone everyone sometimes people say no ki raste ka kaata hai kaate ko nikalo what is that rasta all about what is that road all about the road is going towards sense gratification anyone who blocks my sense gratification okay i'll remove him. therefore it's very important to note that this quality of demonic person is very 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 prominent firstly they are showering love to a person and now as soon as he gets to know that that same person is going to act as a block in my sense gratification now this demon is ready to kill that person this is what is the quality of a demon but when it comes to a sura that is devata they will not be bothered about this we are talking about devotees they will not be bothered about this because they are not bothered about sense gratification they are bothered about intensifying the devotional service if someone is uh, going to harm the devotee or going to take away some possession devotee's mood is okay as krishna desires shila prabhupad was there in delhi you have not wrong and a reporter was interviewing shila prabhupad and that time india pakistan war was going on and immediately it was black out and bombs you know started falling there huge blast sounds were coming and at that time a reporter was asking shila prabhupad about uh, who is krishna and all that and reporter was saying that uh, okay so actually god is uh, light god is energy or something like that and prabhupad is trying to establish the point that god is krishna and krishna is supreme personality of god now uh, every now blackout bomb sound is coming now the reporter is shouting we should do something we should do something and Prabhupada, for what? We are in a miserable condition. We are always in a miserable condition. We should go and tell the president of Pakistan to do something. He said, "What will he do? He is a mortal being." Hmm. No, no, he can do something. He can stop that entire misery. He might stop this misery, but the miseries in your life are not going to stop. Prabhupada is saying all this, hmm. and then finally, a lot of discussion happened, and Prabhupada can, in this situation where they are under the table. the description is they were under the table because they are trying to protect themselves under the table in the entire dark prabhupad proved the point krishna is supreme personality of godhead he asks the reporter do, do you accept and he is like yes i accept and then he asks a question reporter asks a question what if the bomb falls on that place where there is pure devotee of krishna maybe he was talking about the same place where they were in what if in a place is a pure devotee of the lord and a bomb falls there what will be the mood of a pure devotee and prabhupad says the pure devotee will look at the bomb and the pure devotee will say krishna is coming krishna is coming so that is the mood of a pure devotee and prabhupad continued and he said that anything happens a pure devotee takes it at takes it as krishna's mercy rakhe krishna mare ke mare krishna rakhe ke if krishna wants to kill who can protect and if krishna wants to put it who can kill in this way a devotee has got a completely different vision altogether 
different perspective altogether for every situation and because of that a devotee never envies anyone when does the envy come now why is kamsa suddenly become envious of devaki the only reason for his envy is she is the one who is going to be responsible for removing away all my sense gratification i will be killed so better i kill her now when it comes to devotees since they are not bothered about sense gratification they will not bother about envying someone or pulling off something from someone in fact devotees will always see to it that how to please krishna in that situation so as soon as someone is advancing in bhakti or whatever devotees prefer to glorify the person rather than being envious and as soon as the devotee feels okay he's put into some trouble he takes shelter of krishna he doesn't act that who is who is giving trouble he will go and kill no therefore we understand clear difference between a devotee <clears throat> and a demon and here it is very very clear and say kamsa is saying this didn't you didn't you hear didn't you hear this akashvani because of this akashvani i am going to kill devaki basically kamsa is saying that i have got marana bhaya i am fearful of my death now then vasudev speaks about death krishna spoke bhagavad gita on the battlefield of kurukshetra situations were better you see they were there on the chariot krishna is the chariot driver and arjuna is sitting behind and when the conches were blown on both the sides but still it's an etiquette that if there is a talk that is going on everyone pauses they don't start shooting arrows now when everyone saw that okay arjun is asking something to krishna and krishna is speaking to arjun so they didn't start the war so it was a somewhat a good situation and arjun he surrendered to krishna to hear from him he surrendered as a student and therefore krishna was speaking so arjun was submissive krishna was speaking arjun was asking question krishna was speaking now again in this situation vasudev is also on the rath kamsa is also on the rath but here kamsa the driver of the chariot and here vasudev the one who is sitting on the chariot so you can imagine the situation and compare so here the passenger is going to speak and the driver is supposed to hear but this unfortunate situation there arjuna surrendered to krishna it was easy for krishna to speak here there is no surrender of kams if possible maybe he'll kill vasudev also that is the mood and in the entire critical situation there arjun was just saying i'll not fight i'll not fight hmm. and krishna was convincing him you should fight you should fight here vasudev is trying to tell him are you brother don't fight give up give up this mentality envious mentality and give up the sword that you are holding in the hand hmm. so in this entire critical situation vasudev started speaking bhagavad gita even before bhagavad gita was spoken by krishna hmm. so wonderful and exactly the second chapter of gita is spoken by vasudev because this is something that enlightens a person very nicely it is described when the siddhanta is understood very clearly then all these different negative qualities that is there no enviousness and uh, enmity uh, trying to pull the other person down feeling insecure all those different things will not be there why is it that even in devotee community devotees also feel insecure why because this realization is not there i am not the body i am spirit soul this realization is not there therefore even devotee community insecure insecurity will be there what if this devotee takes away my service what will happen if this is taken away from me etc etc at least for brahmacharis such insecurity shouldn't be there because it is expected that we are completely dependent on the lord and it is expected that we at least realize this basic fact that i am not the body and spirit soul i am servant of krishna with this realization a devotee becomes carefree ha theek hai jo bhi hai i am spirit soul i am servant of the lord whatever my master desires let that happen so you see when the siddhanta is understood clearly at least on a theoretical platform and say we are tense we are feeling insecure we are going mad because of whatever situation so at that time we can remind ourselves are nothing this situation is not in my control but it is completely in krishna's control because he is supreme personality of godhead and who am i i am spirit soul his part and parcel so if i am his part and parcel if he is my father as he says in bhagavad gita aham bija pradapita 
won't he take care of me so why am i insecure insecure about what such thoughts will automatically come to a devotee if siddhanta is clear if the philosophy is clear when the philosophy is not clear theor- theoretically also our understanding is not proper then all the problems will come and we will act on the material platform and the devotees who are on the spiritual platform pull them also on the material platform now we fight karna kis kya kare unse hi karna to pull them also and create a huge chaos in the entire devotee community therefore now vasudev he is going to speak a very very important aspect of life of a devotee this question comes that uh, vasudev spoke to kansa comes to maharaj but he is a demon in the entire thing that you will hear he is not removing his sword only every verse the sword is like that only at the end when vasudev said i'll give my kids to you you do whatever you want at that time he removed the sword hmm. so what does that mean maybe he was sleeping in the entire class that vasudev gave hmm. or the other thing is whatever vasudev spoke it didn't enter his head so it goes on to say whatever vasudev spoke it was all in vain so the question comes vasudev spoke to whom for the benefit of whom if kamsa is not hearing he spoke for whom and the answer is for the speaker and the audience of bhagavatam class only for them if kamsa is not hearing devaki knows all the philosophy whom is he speaking for them is only for us now vasudev begins to speak from the second chapter of gita and trying to convince kansa maharaj that don't kill devaki we'll see this tomorrow hari krishna grantra shrimad bhagavatam ki jagat guru shri la prabhupad ki jai